Hi, today I'm building a new house to put in my outdoor diorama. Let's go cut some wood. Before cutting any wood, we have to do some research first. I found that the McAllister's house from the movie Home Alone would make a great house to put in my outdoor diorama. I found some nice floor plans on the internet that gave me a good idea of the overall dimension of the house so I can reduce it to scale. For the next step, I cut a piece of plywood to the dimension of the front of the house. After that, it's only a matter of drawing the windows and door. With the help of my two figurines, I was able to validate the scale and make sure that everything looks good. Since the back of the house won't be visible from the street, I've decided to cut open an access panel to manage the electricity and the lighting. Since this house will be left outside to the elements, I've decided to create a solid base using construction wood. I've used 2x2s for the framing and a 1.5 inch thick plywood for the base. This is the only time I use popsicle sticks for my dioramas, is to build a window frame. At 3 8 of an inch wide, a popsicle stick will do just fine to square off the windows. Now it's time to build the front door frame. The next step is to paint everything before assembly. I chose this red paint to match what would look like bricks from the outside. This house will have two windows on the roof. I used some leftover plywood to make those. They will be painted to match the rest of the house. The next step was to build the tiny roof that goes on top of those windows. I am telling you folks, I had to relearn geometry from third grade be able to do that. It was a lot of work, but I finally made it. A little sanding to clean up the imperfections, and we're good to go. At the same time I was building the rooftop window, I've decided to build a small tool shed to hide the electrical component outside of the house. So obviously I painted to match the house. So the idea of building a curved roof for the front entrance 
is to cut a piece of plywood to the correct width and just soak it into water for about a week so it gets really really wet after that all you have to do is to bend it in place and screw it on something solid and let it dry for a week after it's all dried and formed you can just pick it up and cut it to the length that you want For the assembly of the roof, I have to build a jig first to hold the pieces in place while I glue them and nail them.
I use placemats that I found at uh, my local decoration store to use for uh, window drapes. Now that the curtains are in the window, all that's left to do is to paint the front door and assemble all this. At this point, the house is about 98% done. All that's left to do is to wire the electricity and place the house at its final location, which will happen earlier this summer. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye bye.